All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekai HaKadosh, Double honors to the elder apostles, Great Millstone who taught us his truth. My name is Milkama, coming back at you with another video. Lord willing, it's edifying to the flock. And uh, you can see um, uh, where it kind of passed. Well, I'll rewind it, but this is going into uh, the new up and coming president, uh, Donald Trump, and just another situation that may come to his demise, you know, may kind of come to his demise because things Donald Trump has been, you know, saying and doing, you know, uh, not a, he has the, uh, I guess you can call the, the people's, you know, um, vote, so to speak, to him being in office, which we know is, you know, is, you know, is the will of, uh, how about Shimei Asha ultimately, but you know, he got the wicked in charge, so the wicked is choosing, I guess it's called an uh, electoral vote or college vote or what have you. Okay, so he has the uh, citizens of the uh, vote or the popularity vote, as you can so called say, you know, of you know, making America great again, as he says. And, but as far as these big corporations, you know, Donald Trump is, uh, you know, uh, pretty much a, a adversary to him because most, you know, he, he's, he's going to cause them to lose money. And this one's, uh, video I'm going to play is one of the, you know, uh, a point that I'm speaking on is making, you know, uh, him make enemies in in the corporation side you know he's taking money from him uh as we used to say in the streets you know cutting that water off okay so that being said let's let this video play and uh, we're gonna come back with some precepts lord willing is edifying to the flock let's see it's like and according to forbes the average american pays 28 percent interest on their credit card just suggested he wants to cap interest rates on credit cards at 10%. And according to Forbes, the average American pays 28% interest on their credit card. But what most people don't realize is it hasn't always been this way. Because before 1980, credit card companies were only permitted to charge 6 to 10% interest because there was something called state usury laws. So these states capped interest rates at 6% and these states at 7 to 10%. But in 1980, Congress passed the Monetary Control Act, which gave control to the banks by allowing them to charge whatever interest rate they wanted. And we've been paying the price ever since. And this is why we need to teach our kids the control banks. Okay, so that pretty much basically is it. Okay, this is guy going into how Donald Trump is uh, gonna, uh, you know, uh, drop back down the attempt to, you know, the APR, I guess it's called uh, a percentage, you know, on uh, banking. And you know, and that's and I thought about this scripture here that I have pulled up, Second Ezra 16, chapter 21, uh, verse 21, chapter 16, and verse 21. You know, goes into how, you know, uh, what I read it. But you know, um, this is gonna make a lot of people save some money. You know, uh, uh, especially the, you know the, the the American citizens. You know, so let's go ahead and read it. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Who are they going to think themselves to be in good case? The citizens. Okay? Because of, uh, uh, who's to say if Donald Trump he was going to make it in office? You know, I, I'm kind of like torn between he may make it, he may not. Okay? They might, you know, knock him off, you know, to bring in the, you know, the prophecy of, uh, uh, you know, second edge is 15 and 15, I believe it is, uh, 16 on down or whatever. Okay, so, you know, uh, 
but that this would make Victor was cheap, a little cheaper, you know, if he decides to get in office and pull these so-called strings that he's pulling, which we know he's all a, he's a puppet. You know, we know that the uh, central bankers run this. Okay, it says, uh, and even then shall eels grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So it's going to be great confusion, you know, throughout uh, this thing here that uh, through the prophecies, right? It's prophesied that these things are going to happen. Now, I'm going to stop it here. You see uh, the average credit card interest rate. That's what I meant. The interest rate is going to be brought down to 10%. You know, who? They say it's temporary because I... Uh, uh, I looked it up and I bring that up. It said the rate right now is uh uh is twenty eight point seventy five percent according to Forbes. Okay. And that's a lot. That's a big percentage, man. That's you know, compared to what it uh what it used to be. Okay. So matter of fact, let's just go here it says Trump's ten percent cap on credit card interest won't gain traction. Say it won't grant gain traction, but we'll see. Okay. It said at a recent rally, former President Donald Trump proposed a temporary 10% cap on credit card interest rate per Wall Street Journal. Okay, so the Wall Street Journal. It's a like it. The Wall Street Journal is a uh, The Wall Street Journal is, uh, oh, forgive me, it says the Wall Street Journal, uh, it's like, it says, while credit card unions already have 18% cap on credit card interest rates, most U.S. credit cards are issued by banks, which don't have a cap. And so that's why the cap is so high right now. Because, you know, right here it says it's 28%, I believe they said. Yeah, that's the thing, it, it switches over. So, But, you know, they're saying that it's 28, well, well, we know it's 28%, which is a high interest rate. And to bring it down to 10% is, you know, awesome, you know. You know, that's a, that's a, <laughs> that's paradise, basically, for a lot of people. That has credit cards, you know, and uh, I think I received one in the mail that had 28% on there, you know, 28.75%. That's the max that these different credit cards are, uh, you know, uh, are charging. And hey, that's, that's pretty high. Okay, so let's go back to this. It says, um, while credit cards, well, credit unions have a 18% cap that's why a lot of people tell you use credit unions you know a credit unions is, is, is a little cheaper than you know banks which is 28 some odd percent right it said most u.s credit cards are issued by banks which don't have a cap the average credit card interest rate has uh was 21.5 as of may uh 2024 per uh, federal reserve but you know, you you see what I'm getting at. So that uh, now, if he decides to, if he gets in office, or they decide to let him in office, you know, this is gonna allow uh, uh, second edge sixteen and uh twenty one to be fulfilled. You know, uh, which it could be in, in something else also. But you know, uh, right now, like I seen, you know. You know where I'm at now. The you know the gas is pretty cheap, and what what it's been uh you know uh, six months ago I believe it was three dollars uh and some odd since uh, a few months ago. Now I think it's down to like two uh, fifty. This one gas station I go to is pretty big. Uh, I think it's called Bucky's, and I think they got about a hundred pumps there. So you know it's it's pretty pretty cheap at the moment 
Let's get the other uh, precept. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Luke. Uh, is it is it twelve and twenty one? Twenty one. Let's see. I think it's it might be twelve and twenty. Let's let's look it up. It's division. You know, right now, they, the spirit of division is in the earth. Okay. Okay, 12 and 51. This is a pose ye that I have, that I am come to give peace on earth. Peace on earth, I tell you, nay, but rather division. You know, and this this big thing with Trump getting in office is, is going to be a major division. Okay, and like, who's to say if he's going to be in office or not, if he decides to do the things that he say he's going to do uh, with these, uh, you know, these different proposals, which would be nice <laughs> before, the, you know, the dest destruction comes, you know. But, you know, I just wanted to, you know, speak on that. And, uh, and you know, it's a lot of other things that's going on in, the, uh, you know, in the uh, financial division of uh Babylon the Great, which I believe the latest thing I've heard that I think Jeep, the car manufacturer, I believe it is in Ohio, they uh, laid off some amount of people. As a matter of fact, let's look that up. Yeah, Jeep layoffs. Okay. So you see the number of layoffs is at a thousand one hundred and uh thirty four workers will be permanently laid off. And that's in uh the plan to Toledo. Okay, and the last and I believe that was, this is the latest one right here. Okay. So it's in January twenty twenty five. And I believe I heard one that, uh another layoff that was Pepsi. Let's see, let's get Pepsi layoff. So Pepsi had uh Pepsi Company or Co Inc. uh layoff. Okay. And it was November the 6th, 2024. I hope for you at Jacob's Trouble. Okay, so PepsiCo to shut the Chicago bottling plant layoff more than 100 workers. I thought it was 300, but, but you know, you get my point. Okay, so. Okay, with that being said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and end it. And, uh, you know. Matter of fact, let's get uh, one more before we. What's of the bird? Uh, leave this. In. There we go. Ecclesiasticus. 12 and 4. Okay. Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 3. It says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow down, uh, bow themselves, and be and the grinder, grinder cease because of few, because they are few, and those that look out the window, windows be darkened. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, the grinding is, uh, you know, jobs. And he shall rise up to the voice of the bird 
and all the daughters of the music shall be brought low. You know, music ain't really what it was, you know, I guess you say 20 years ago. Okay, and, you know, people are going to be out of jobs, and, you know, this is scriptural, you know, which, you know, ever since uh, 2020, you know, you've been hearing a lot of that, you know, this, you know, the Lord is working in a gradual state. So as it being in this gradual state, uh, you know, we're going to uh, get to a point where, you know, no, you know, it's going to be very few, you know, few and few, you know, uh, uh, teaming is, you know, which is uh, in Germans, you know, they've been, I think they had like a hundred and no, they had a million some recalls on a uh, uh, faulty brake, which is a uh, uh, BMW. You know, the Germans, you know, they pretty much known for some of the best cars, but you know, you know, high tech, good technology, uh, you know, they're the top tier when it comes to cars, mostly, you know, usually, you know, it's, it's teaming, which are the Germans. Okay. And they had that, um, recall on a million, million plus cars on the, uh, I guess it was a faulty brake system or something to the extent. Okay. So, you know, your hard earned dollars don't go as, you know, far as it used to, you know, which we know America's of Esau Edom so-called white man his rulership is you know slowly in decline but you know you know uh uh esau is the end of the world and jacob is the beginning of it that follow it so that's what we're looking for so i'm gonna go ahead and end it and give all praises and honors to the howl yahweh